Hey, what's up? My name's Got Dad Colton, and welcome to Old School RuneScape. And we're picking up doing a quest guide mini series through all the free to play content in RuneScape. And this is just a short video on Cook's Assistant. Um, you probably don't need instructions on how to do it, it's pretty easy. And there's also tons of content out there, but I figured it'd be fun just to do a, a video series on me going through the quests. So, in Cook's Assistant, you just need to go to the kitchen in Lumbridge. Uh, this client might look a little bit different. I am using a <laughs> program that uh, helps with a whole bunch of accessibility options that a lot of people use. And obviously I have my quest steps here, so you might not, you won't have these, <laughs> um, but this is just a quick little guide. So if you want, download Runelight, it's really nice. It has a whole quest helper built into it. Um, and that can realistically get you through any quest you need. Um, this one you could complete by bringing everything you need here. You need an egg, a bucket of milk, and a pot of flour. Um, so I deposited everything into my bank that I had from this tutorial island, and I just have my bucket and pot here. Um, I'm gonna go as if I never had any of that. Um, if you didn't have a pot, you can get one off the table here, and then if you don't have a bucket, you could get a little GP and then go over to this general store you can see off in the distance, right over here. And you can buy a bucket from there. I'm gonna talk to the cook here to start the quest. <laughs> what am I to do? Here, cook, why don't you make me get- what's wrong? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, I'm terrible, terrible mess. It's the Duke's birthday today, and I should be making him a lovely birthday cake. I've forgotten to buy the ingredients, I'll never get them in time. He'll sack me, what will I do? I have four children and a goat to look after. Would you help me, please? <laughs> yes. That's I'll help you. Oh, thank you, thank you. I need milk, an egg, and flour. I'd be very grateful if you can get them for me. So where do I find these ingredients, then? Actually, I know where to find the stuff, so... You can ask him where to find those things, and he'll, he'll talk about it and tell you where to get the... Uh, individual ingredients, but um, I know where to get them, so we need to head off and um, I guess I'm gonna start getting the, the milk and eggs first because it's the, on the, the same path over here, so I'm gonna cross the bridge uh, right here. You spawn into Lumbridge, go past the goblins. They're not aggressive, so you don't need to worry about them, but not a generally a good idea to fight them right away when you're low level just because they could do some damage, especially if you don't have armor. Better idea to fight like the chickens and whatnot, because they're so easy to level on. But then goblins are always fun and classic to fight. I guess I'll milk the cow. Cow's uh, dairy cow's right in here. You you can go, so I'm gonna milk this dairy cow here. You can only milk these <laughs> dairy cows, you can't milk these other cows. However Yeah, I guess they have others too. It's just not currently producing, I guess. Yeah, because all of them are cows, not a single bull. I noticed. Yeah. Gotta grab an egg. There's one that's hidden right back here that I like to always grab. Um, actually, you can see they're all highlighted, which is really nice. If you need to get one, if you have the this pl uh, plugin and you're doing this quest, it'll actually highlight the items for you, which is pretty nice. Oh, it just makes it a little bit easier. But if you're on a uh, phone, I know a lot of people play mobile, you won't really have this as an option. Or if you're just using the like a Steam client or like their OG client. Their OG client's pretty nice, they've added a lot of uh, options nowadays. That's pretty good, but still it's got nothing on Runelight to be honest. Can't even climb over that style. But I'll highlight shortcuts and whatnot. Now we gotta go over to this flour mill here. First you gotta get um, some flour. I only need one, because obviously I only need one pot of flour, but you could pick extra, I guess, to, you know, leave in the mill in case you ever need more and don't want to do multiple trips, so I guess I'll actually just grab a bunch. There's goblins everywhere, man. Even over here. It's a ton. One thing is rough about free to play. Um, I'm not wearing any armor to make it even faster, but I don't have agility <laughs> levels, so everything's really slow. You can talk to the miller there, but realistically, to um, use the flower mill, you just need to go all the way to the top. And then you'll put your wheat into the hopper here. You can only do one at a time. 
They pull the lever. Yeah, I guess you only do one at a time. Yeah, I can only do one at a time. I'm gonna drop the rest, as I don't really uh, realistically need it. So climb all the way back down to the very bottom, and then you'll see there's gonna be a whole bunch of grain sitting in here. I can empty it for one pot, and then I got everything I need. There's like three that I did extra that I can, if I ever plan on making bread, which I don't really, it's not worth making. I can do other stuff, and you can level up with fishing, which is really nice, or you can get chicken. So now you just gotta make your way all the way back to the kitchen. Actually, there's a shortcut you can go back here through. To the back side of the castle. Not really much of a shortcut, but I guess that diagonal one. Well, they don't seem to be bots. Never know, though. I saw a whole bunch of bots when I first started on Tutorial Island, though. This is usually open, so you don't have to worry about it. Actually, I think it might be permanently open now. Yeah, it is. This door, though, yeah, also permanently open. Just gotta talk to the cook, give him the ingredients. Here's a bucket of milk, a pot of flour, and a fresh egg. You brought me everything I need, I'm saved, thank you. So do I get to go to the Duke's party? I'm afraid not, only the big cheeses get to dine with the Duke. Well, maybe one day I'll be important enough to sit on the Duke's table. Maybe, but I won't be holding my breath. And that's Cook's Assistant. We get one quest point, 300 cooking XP, and now, also, our cooking goes to level 4 instantly from level 1. And now we can actually use the cooking range here, which helps with uh, burn chances on to a certain degree. But it's, it's really nice to do, especially at a, at a low level, so you're not burning everything all the time. Let's go talk to this guy really quick to see what he says. How's the venturing going? Um, can I use a range? Yeah. So cool, you're allowed to use it now. That's what the salesman said. Cool, well that's the uh, Cook's Assistant. Very short uh, quest, so I'm gonna cut the video off there and we'll do Sheep Shearer next at, at some point. Maybe I'll make a short out of this, but thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.